do today is have a creative reaction to climate change and see if we can use art to voice our feelings and ideas about climate change. We have COP21 coming up, so the climate conference in Paris, and we were interested in bringing art students and young people into the story and mixing activism with art. I've realised actually how fundamental young people have been to like every successful um, movement for, for radical change. For example, the Black Power movement in the US, which was particularly strong in the 60s and 70s, the majority of people that were really active in that movement were like 17, 18, 19. And when you look at other successful movements, young people have been driving it forward. The red line will be for December the 12th, when the climate conference ends. It's symbolic, because all the people who fail to make the decisions that are going to help us, as they leave the conference, symbolically, we will see them as crossing that red line. You have literally just crossed a line that means that you have condemned the species to an unsustainable future. And the first red line's action in this country has already happened. There's a fantastic, almost Walt Disney comedy character called Viscount Matt Ridley. He happens to have the biggest open cast coal mine in the UK on his ancestral land. Coal is just like the worst of the fuels, it's so dirty, and we can't continue to use it if we want to stop climate change. So we got these arm shoes, a big concrete shoe with a metal pin inside, and you put your hand inside it and you lock yourself to the metal pin and then you lie down on the ground and then no trucks can really drive over you and police can't move you because you're locked to a piece of concrete. And then some other people got some D-locks and D-locked their necks to the machinery. We stayed there for nine hours and we shut down the mine for the, the whole day. And so like for that one day, we stopped like 1% of the UK's carbon output. Wow. I've never taken any direct action before, I should say. I've never been arrested and never done anything like that before. Um, and now I have, I've totally got the bug and I want to do it again. <laughs> and it's one of the most worthwhile things I've ever done in my life, I would say, if not the most worthwhile thing I've ever done in my life. And I would encourage all of you to go out and lock yourselves to coal mines. <laughs> they have just decided we can't drill in the North Pole. That was mainly to do with activists stopping them trying to get up there the whole time. It just becomes too expensive. So that's a massive success. They're not going to drill in the North Pole for a while. I was involved in an action with Plain Stupid in July, which involved occupying one of the runways at Heathrow Airport, and we shut down the airport for a number of hours. A report came out two weeks before our action that recommended a, another runway at Heathrow. And that project will be a complete disaster in climate change terms. Cut a hole in the perimeter fence, we got onto the runway in 10 minutes, set up a tripod and a cage with some Harry Spencer around it. A bunch of us were locked on with D-locks. The life support systems of our planet unravelling. And I think the future is in people acting collectively, creatively, and taking actions that intervene in the status quo. What's in a man? Where are you gonna run to? Where you gonna run to? Where you gonna run to? When you have a situation where there's hundreds and hundreds of riot police and things may get heavy, the introduction of a two metre square, shiny, inflatable cobblestone changes the story immediately. <laughs> You've got loads of police stabbing these and trying to deflate them and get them out of the way while everyone just runs off or runs around. Okay? These are going to have Velcro strips around them. So we could build a wall four metres high across here in, what, three minutes? Mm -hmm. By just linking it all with Velcro. Our job at the moment is to do what these guys are doing so maybe some people can get going on this side. 
We need to get this black stuff off first. And while this is happening, Adam, are you going to get the link up then, yeah? Sure. This is the art build happening in Paris at the moment. So this is the art space. The French government uh, announced a state of emergency uh, at midnight after the attacks, and they've now passed through the government Senate uh, the extension of that state of emergency. Normally, the state of emergency is only allowed to last 12 days. Now, it's going to last three months. They have banned all demonstrations in Paris from now until three months. Any more than two people, uh, so i.e. three people with a political message, will be seen as a demonstration. So basically, they're creating a climate of fear. We will be disobeying the state of emergency. But the, obviously, the states are way, way higher. where inflatables have been used in mobilizations and the police have just have destroyed the inflatable and then they are put in this decision dilemma where they look ridiculous. Also in Spain they tried to arrest an inflatable and put it in a police van. Put it on like exactly at first if you can, because every time you put it on and rip it off, it gets a little weaker. But the rock cried out. I can't hide you, the rock cried out. I can't hide you, the rock cried out. I ain't gonna hide you guys. experiment with putting vinyl messages on them, yeah? Don't you see me praying, Lord? Don't you see me down here praying? But the Lord said, go to the devil, the Lord said, go to the devil. He said, go to the devil. It was boiling all on that day. 